What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Now the Forsaken 2.0 update has now landed. You should be able to get back on the game. I know I posted an image of Twitter of me actually being on the game and a lot of people still can't get on but you just keep trying. You should be able to get on after you've downloaded the 2.0 update. Don't forget guys this is only August 28th update. There will be another update from Forsaken on September 4th which you will get plenty of other things also. Now I'm just going to go through a few of the changes right here right now which you should see when you next log into the game. As you can see the new director looks absolutely epic. Uh, no milestone tab, well there's a milestone tab there but milestone has now been changed to challenges as you see if we click on strikes we'll see here there is a challenge actually attached to the actual thing you have a challenge for. So if it's a strike you complete strikes. Nightfall right there complete nightfalls you get the gear it showcases what you get underneath pretty cool i like that addition and there's a few other things i've noticed as well if you go to nessus we'll see that the actual leviathan is located on nessus right there so that's pretty epic also what else did i notice um this actually i'm not sure if this was here before uh, this just could be me being crazy but was the dark forest ever that big did it ever showcase to be that big on the map I don't know. Will we go there as part of the campaign for the Forsaken? We probably will, seeing as within the latest launch trailer for the Forsaken, we saw Aldrin, I believe, going into the Dark Forest. So maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Who knows, people? Um, we can also see here, I believe, where the reef will be. We can see the floating meteor, rocky thingy, bob, bob, bob. So, yes, we are also now in the tower. And if you go to your vault, you will see that there is 200 extra spaces, people. And we actually can't, uh, well we ain't got access to our collections yet. We know we won't get access to them until September 4th through the Forsaken. Where the new collections will be there with like all the weapons you've collected. Uh, another great, great thing people. Go to the Cryptarch. You see that big one? As you can see. Machado deletion. So let's delete some of these and see what we get. You can delete five at a time. And it's so much faster. And you get Glimmer if you want it. And if you have... Um, Eververse shaders you'll get, let's just try it out, oh well, not, that's not an Eververse shader, okay so that's not one, where's my Eververse shader, uh, that one actually delete, I'll get rid of five of you, we get five times the amount so that's pretty cool also, loving that people, another major change, if we go into your inventories you will see Weapon slots have changed. As you can see, the Perfect Paradox is now a kinetic weapon. The Icolus shotgun is now a energy weapon. Nice. And there's so many others, people. There you go. We saw the Hawthorns here, feel for shotgun right there. That's now changed to a kinetic also. There's a few others which I have in my vault which have changed a lot. I actually do believe, look at this. It's an energy weapon. I also believe as well, guys, that the, um, the beastly PvP... A fusion rifle, can't remember what it's called off the top of my head now, it just completely slips to the back of my mind, but it's now a energy weapon. You guys know which one I'm at, a monster uh, fusion rifle. Where is it? I've got it here somewhere. I know I have. Or oh, I had it. It's probably on my Titan. Either way, you know, you guys know what it is, you guys know what it is, I can't remember what it's called. I'll write it on screen when it comes to my head, but yes, as you can see here, the 3D Jackal is now an energy weapon. I don't believe I've got the Alone of a God. Oh, there we go, right there. The Alone of a God is now a special weapon. Man, PvP is going to be crazy. It really is. Now, I'm trying to look at what else has changed. Oh, Deadpan Delivery is now a special weapon. That's pretty cool. Another rocket launcher is our Stain. Uh, the Maestro 46 is now a special weapon. So, there's so many changes. The Long Walk is a special weapon, people. There is a monster of a sniper. What else we got here? Got my two Valkadins! Got my two Valkadins. Let's actually have a look at the mods now. I know these are locked into place, so this is my this is my Better Devils now, but we know our Better Devils will go into year two, so we'll be able to drop the random rolls, which will be pretty cool. I'm not sure if you do get one. Will it have random rolls? Should we try that out? Should we try and get one? Let's try and get one and see what happens, because you never know. Back from the hunt, you never know, people. I got a few, a few to, um, okay, it's just going to be like, it's just going to be like that, and I'm not going to waste my legendary shards until I have to, because I know for an absolute fact that ain't going to give me all I want, so let's see what, uh, what's up with shacks then. It's a bit slower than not getting into vendor menus and that, 
But it seems though nothing has changed here. Yeah, let's see if we do get. Nah, I don't think. I don't think we do get a better Devil's Rules at random rolls, but if you can confirm that down below in the comment section, I don't know if they've stated it or not. I'm not even sure. With the new weapon slot system in place, would the better Devil's drop with random rolls? I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. Now, let me just get rid of some of these. Some of these, and we can see the armors now and the the mods and so forth. There we go, right there. Oh, okay. Oh no, I'm looking. At, I'm looking at red mods. I'm an absolute idiot. I'm an absolute idiot, people. Forgive me. Forgive me. Like you see, that's locked into place until four seconds. Then you can replace it with a new mod, which is decent. Which is decent. We might as well have a look at Eververse while we're here. I doubt there's going to be anything new there, but we'll check it anyway. And should we go and have a look if Cade's still there as well? <laughs> he probably ain't. Cade's gone, guys. Cade has gone. Nothing new. Oh, we got the um, Warby skin for the Legend of Acrius. That's pretty sexual. Nice, um, got a few other bits and bobs there. So let's go and have a look at Cades there. He probably ain't. Well, actually, he should be, shouldn't he? I don't know. Should he? Shouldn't he? I don't know, people. <laughs> I'm not even sure. He probably will be here until the four second because, like I said, there's going to be another update when the four second drops. Obviously, we're getting we get a look into all the new weapons and stuff. Oh, Cade's gone. Cade is gone. Cade is gone. No way! No way! I didn't think he'd go until the four second come, but Cade's gone. No! Poor Cade! Poor Cade. Let's have a quick look at the the faction vendor because you never know. Something could have changed here. Are you ready, Guardian? Nope, nothing changed. Nothing has changed at all. Nope, all the same old, same old shitty 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 shit. Um Yep, all the same old sh Shepherd's Watch. See, I don't know. The weapons that have changed slots, like the... No, they ain't going to drop us around the rolls. I think the, the rolls are going to be locked into place. I'm pretty sure about that, to be honest. But yeah, um, now it's time to try out PvP, because I'm guessing the new changes and a new time to kill and everything like that is going to be in place. So I will let you guys know as soon as I've had a couple of games of it. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at DPJSC08, linked within the video description, guys. Also, I am giving away a exclusive Gambit emblem, Gambit, Gambit emblem, to one lucky viewer. I'll give it away within the next two weeks, so I will pick one lucky person from my comment section, and I will DM you on Twitter. Um, the emblem code is simple as that, so drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Got my stacked bounties right there. Um, nothing's changed there. Got a few mods here and there. So, will these still give? Yes, of course they will. What am I on about? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. My shaders are right there. So, nothing's really changed there. And don't expect that until the fourth second, guys. But I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing I've missed. Um, I don't think there is, to be honest. Just a few changes here and there. There. Mainly the directory looks pretty sweet, looks pretty epic. And actually, yes, the flashpoint I do believe is, is it Mars? Yes, it's Mars. The flashpoint this week is Mars, and as you can see this by the change right here, flashpoint Mars, so we go to, and a brave for that, so that's pretty cool, people. But on that note, I am out. Uh, just a quick video demonstrating the new changes for the Forsaken. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully, people, I will see you on the next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.